Hello, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to do some repair work on this uh, grinder. It's a Ton T2 grinder. Uh, this is a tool grinder, uh, mainly made to grind stuff like uh, the flutes on end mills and uh, slitting saws and stuff like that. You can also use it as a surface grinder or you can use it to grind uh, round things with it. Uh, anyway, this needs some repair work because uh, the sideways motion of uh, this table is supposed to be done with this crank here but there's uh, a wire that's broken so we have to replace this wire and in order to do that we'll have to lift the table up and that's t a bit of a grunt work so it's really a two-man job so I brought my dad here and he's going to help me to uh, uh, lift the table. This machine has three big cranks as you can see and uh, the right crank just moves the table sideways uh, by means of uh, wire inside the table here. This left crank uh, moves the table in and out like so uh, and this has a scale and you can move the table in and out with an accuracy of uh, a hundredth of a millimeter. The crank down here moves the column up and down uh, and this also has an accurate scale, so uh, you can move this to within a hundredth of a millimeter up and down. And this, of course, is the business end of the grinder. And the motor is up here, and by moving the belt uh, between these pulleys, you can choose two different RPMs. And you can also twist this. So you can set this at an angle. And this type of grinder does not tilt this way. That is a feature seen on some uh, grinders, but this one only has the twisting motion and it doesn't tilt like this. Of course I'd like to show you some more about what this grinder can do, but to tell you the truth I haven't figured it out myself. So I have just have to figure it out and uh, try to do some stuff with this grinder and uh, get it up and running and then I'll do some more videos showing what it can do. But uh, for today I'm just going to lift the table up and see if I can replace the broken wire. So, okay, let's go ahead and remove the table. This upper part can be, can be set at an angle when you want to uh, grind cones and stuff like that. So we're first going to lift this up. Okay. Ugh, it's stuck. There we go. Hmm. Okay, that's all in the up. Into the top part on that. I brought the camera in to show you and as you can see there's uh, ways here and ways here and these are some flat ways with cassettes with three rollers in each one and these are V ways and these rollers lie with one of their flat surface against the surface here and the, it seems to roll like so. It's a bit of a strange construction I think. Uh, for some reason there's four rollers over here and three here and we didn't drop any so I don't know if it's supposed to be four or what. But anyway it works the way it is. This is where the wire is supposed to go so when you crank the handle here the, the wire is supposed to go out through these looks and out and move the table back and forth. Right now we're just going to wipe away the old grease and clean this stuff up and uh, put the new wire in. And this is what the table looks like. And as you can see here's these are the flat ways and uh, these are uh, the V-shaped ways. And the broken wire which I have here is supposed to go from this which is a rigid mount and it's going to, it's supposed to do a couple of turns around the drum I showed you and then it's supposed to go in here where you can find a kind of a uh, 
spring mechanism. Inside this is a shock absorption mechanism and it's also sort of an adjustment mechanism and we're going to remove this and when we remove this one there is this part and a spring and a washer with a hole in it so the wire is supposed to go in through this through the spring and through this washer and then the lock is supposed to uh, be soldered on here I don't have the small brass parts that go on the end of the wire so I have to make them uh, in the lathe which is in a way kind of ridiculous but if you don't have them, you have to make them. course we had to put this on before uh, soldering it all together so now if we put this together and put that stuff inside the tube and then if I hook up the wire here to the other end of the table you can just feel feel the spring working and okay try to pull it now okay feel okay no problem and here you can see the mechanism in action with the wire in place. Okay, that seems to work all right. No problem. Then let's get this on. Okay, we got this one fixed. We got the new wire in there and it seems to work all right. So I hope to learn how to use this machine and then hopefully show you some more of what it can do. So see you later.